this tutorial is how to end your coaster. So when you get to the point where you have, I don't know, half an inch, that's time for you to start thinking about ending it. So hold the end as much as you can and you're going to keep wrapping until you can't hold it anymore. I'm going to stitch really quick just so that I know it's going to be secure before I start tying the knots to end it up. So you're going to stitch to the layer before it just like normal. Pull it through. And you're going to get back on track. Pull tight. And now you want to start wrapping around your finger. So you're going to wrap around your finger and the core material. Go ahead and do your stitch through the layer before it. Pull up. Before you take your finger out, shove that clip under the string that's wrapping your finger. Pull it through. Make sure that your yarn is where it's supposed to be. Now you can pull your finger out and you can see that there's a knot starting. Pull it tight. And that, you do that for the rest of the um, core material until you can't see it. So you stitch. Make sure the string is around your finger. Shove that clip through. Pull it through. Pull your finger out. Pull tight. So you can see that I'm slowly getting rid of that white thing or the core material. So again, wrap around the finger. Stitch to the layer before it. Okay. Shove it under the string. And then you're almost done. I usually have at least three knots. The goal is to not see the white anymore, so I would say this is okay. If you have a really nicely crafted coaster, talk to me, and that could become the lid. Otherwise, you can tie your knots, snip it, and you're good to go to start the new project. There you go.